So for some of you, you may want to view and look at planner tasks inside of your gallery within Power App. So we're going to go through the code and how exactly to set up planner to view and look at your tasks. So let's go ahead and get started. So when we get started on this, there's a few things that we need to be sure that we do to begin with. First of all, you have to create the connector and, and you're just going to search for planner here. Okay. And whoops, if you spell it right. And right there, you just, you just click on planner and then that's, that's where this data is. And then it's going to allow you to kind of set up that relationship between your planner and uh, your power app. Okay. And then of course, you have to have planner set up somewhere, right? So however you have that looked here, I have some planner tasks that I've got as some examples here that we're going to use. Okay. So here we go. Let's get started. So to, to start, let's go ahead and insert a gallery. Now, remember, just look at the code here, pause the video. I'm going to walk you through how we're inserting these galleries and what we're working on, but keep your eye on certain things on the screen. Where I'm at here on the left screen, if I do anything over here on the right column and where I'm at right here. So those are kind of the key. And I tried to put, put that in. So what we want to do first thing is we want to insert gallery, blank gallery and connect to planner. So if you don't know how to do that basic step right there, then you need to look at some other videos, but it's really simple folks. Just go here, hit blank and it's going to come up. It's going to ask you, what do you want to connect to? And then when you when that prompts you, you're just going to say planner. Okay. And that's going to create a blank gallery. So you're good there. So now we're going to insert text into that gallery. So let's look at the gallery. We have tasks and we have um, the gallery, the plan. Okay. So the first one we're going to set up here is list my plans. So this is the one we're setting up right here and see the label right there. Okay. So the label that we're going to put in is whatever label um, that we need to grab. Now we just, it happens to be that title is the label that we want to grab for the name of the plan. So insert the gallery right here, the very top row. We're going to click on here, just like it says, go to the top row, just like that. We're going to um, then insert, right? Insert input text input. We're going to put that in there right there. This is a little long, so we're going to tighten that up a little bit. And then we're going to put here items and we're going to write this code. So we're going to have that selected, right? This item title. Now we're going to go to items. Okay. Oops, I'm sorry. Items is on the gallery itself. Click back on the gallery itself. We're going to go to items and now you see the code that we need to use. Now the code is written here. I'm also going to show you right here. So what are we doing here? Just like in the searches and other videos, remember we call the list here usually, or we could call somewhere in the dataverse or whatever. In this example, we're just calling planner and we're listing the, what we're calling is list my plan. So when you, when you type it in, you're going to see a whole bunch of planner options. So play around with them. But in this one, we just want to list the plans. So we're going to list my plans dot value. And then we're going to have a search box right here that we're going to put in. So I don't know. Did I put that in there? Uh, so I did not put that in there. So let me, we'll, we'll walk back to see what that search box looks like here in just a minute. And then we're going to search for title. Okay. So, Pretty easy stuff. And then we're going to sort by title. So just copy this code to make this box appear. And then this search box here, there's nothing to this search box. We just need to enter it. And as you can see, there's no items that are associated with it. We just need to enter it, but we need to call it from the gallery, right? And that's exactly what we're doing. Plan search box, plan search box. Now I put some spaces in here because I get sloppy sometimes. But really, you want to try not to have any spaces. It just makes it easier. You don't have to use the little quote boxes and things. Okay. So here we're just going to search. And we're going to search for that. That's the first one done. Easy. Now we're going to create a second gallery. So on this page, 
We're going to click off of that gallery. We're just going to click anywhere. We're going to say insert gallery again. We're going to do the blank gallery and we're going to connect to planner right here. I'm on step number four. And then at that gallery right here, we're going to click on that. This is this gallery right here that we have. Okay. And we're going to click on the top row. Okay. Top row. So here is the code right here. We're going to select this. Now notice here, we've done something a little different. We're using that planner connected. We're doing the filter and we're listing my tasks. Okay. And the plan ID for those tasks, and there's a comma there. Don't forget that plan ID equals this right here, this plan gallery. Okay. Whatever we select inside that plan gallery in this example, general, and that the percentage is less than 100. So basically any task that has not been completed is going to show up and we're going to just on these, it's this item title, this item due date, pretty simple. Okay. So very easy, easy to follow. Now these two icons here are for update and for delete. So we're going to go through those. I didn't list them out here. But we're going to go through those as well. So here, uh, this is update task. And so we can just click on that to update. And you can see the task right there. We're calling it out. And then this is the delete task. So we don't really go into that in this video. But you can see here exactly how it's done. And that's the code to do it. So let's test this and make sure it works. We added a few values here. As you can see, we changed this to white and blue. We added this. Easy peasy. Now... How do we make it work? Let's go ahead and hit play and see what we have here. So if we take out general and we go down, we're going to see different tasks appear. So there's personal, for example. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and delete that. And we go back to general and we have this one task here. Now, if we go over to general tasks, notice that there are several tasks that are overdue, meaning, and they're not complete. These are all not complete. But notice none of them are assigned to me. So you need to make sure if you want the task to show up in this app, you want using that connector, it has to be assigned to you. Notice now we have no tasks because there are no tasks assigned to me. Notice that the code is list my plans. Okay, list my tasks. So this is very similar to the list. When you go here to my tasks, that's exactly what we're pulling from. We're pulling those plans and tasks from that list, just like you would inside of Planner.